All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I'm going to explain something that I could not find any videos on uh, and it was really a painstaking task to find it all on the old SVX forums. So as the title you already know, this is how to wire up a 5MT uh, when you're swapping it from the 4 EAT out of the SVX. So. First off, everybody tells you that you need to pull the wiring harness and all that stuff into the chassis, but if you have the motor out and everything out, you do not need to do that. It is pointless. So you are going to need to find this on the transmission first. So here's your, your 5MT right here, and you have these right here. The black one is neutral safety bull, and this one is the reverse. So you find these two reverse wires right here. They're green, green, whatever. And you're going to cut them off of this and splice in your own wire to extend it. And I put some little uh, quick connects on the end of that. So you're extending the reverse wire. That's first. And I just made it to where it would reach to the front of the trans because here is where the other reverse wire is. These are the two plugs that come out of the 4EAT. And what you're gonna do is find the smaller of the two. So this one's a big one, this one's the small one. You're gonna find it, and when you're looking at it with the clip on the top, this whole bottom row right here, this whole bottom row, is going to be things that you want. So these two on this side right here, let me, let me check and make sure. Yeah, okay. So these two on the left hand side are going to be your two reverse wires. So you're going to cut those off, and I have those right here. And I put these two ends on it so that they can clip into this. So now when you put. Hey. All right, guys, uh, sorry about that. My dad came by and needed to grab the pressure washer and stuff. So um, I don't exactly remember where I was at. I remember we were talking about these. So I'll just start over and then I'll just clip it in. The two on the left side are going to be for your reverse wires. So I pulled those off and put these little clips on so that it could connect into those. So there's your reverse. These other two wires that are on the right side of the small plug, which would be this black with yellow and blue and white, those are going to go inside of the car. These are the only two that you really need to pull inside. <clears throat> Everybody pulls this whole thing in there and then runs these two wires through the firewall, but it's really hard, like it takes up a lot of room inside. So you run these inside and you put two of these style connectors on the end of it because you're going to run that to your clutch pedal assembly. Turn this light on. So here we go. We got the SVX gas pedal and then the clutch and brake assembly from the WRX. And you're going to have the upper, let's see, I gotta get it on the bench. Okay, there we go. So the upper clutch switch is what you're gonna need to plug those into. And you just plug those quick connects into the prongs and that's going to allow you to start the car with the clutch pedal engaged because those other ones was the neutral safety switch. So basically, Every time you push this in, the clutch in, it activates the neutral safety switch so that you can start the car. So then, once you've done that, you're going to swap the brake sensor right here from the WRX to the SVX one. So once you swap that out, this plug will just plug right into your brake sensor. So there you have brake sensor and your clutch stuff all done. <clears throat> So now you're going to take these wires right here. This was for the speed sensor on the 4EAT transmission. And I cut the end off and added a bunch of wire to it. 
and there's the end that cut off. And this will plug right into a WRX transmission speed sensor right there. So that is all the wires that you need to run. Oh, nope, one more. I forgot. There is one more. And so right here, there is this white plug that comes out of the shifter right here, and that's to make it to where... <laughs> okay, so I actually did it. I plugged the key in the ignition, and it's stuck in there because uh, this is like once I hook power to the car, it shouldn't be stuck in there anymore because I jumped these two wires. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense, but so basically this plug that went to the shifter right here, if you're looking at it with a clip on the top, it's the two on the right side and cut those off and jump those. I saw somebody jump them like from here to here, but I just rather just cut them off and jump them like that. So <clears throat> that should be all of the wires that you need to do to swap the 5MT and the 4EAT out. So to recap, it is the uh, reverse, it is the neutral safety wires that go to the clutch, it is extend the speed sensor wiring and jump that other wire uh, on the shifter and swap out the um, brake um, sensor and then you should be good to go. I haven't tested it yet, but from what my research is, that's all you have to do. So I hope that helped, and I'll definitely, you know, uh, write in the comments later on, you know, when I get this thing actually running, if everything's right, uh, and I'll correct things if it's not. So, so um, I wanted to add this in there at the end because that video is kind of like, has a point to it so i kind of wanted to get to the point for the people who clicked on it for that but if you're just watching because i made a video and it's an svx update i did want to fill y'all in i did get my chase base brake booster delete in and this is just for the wrx but it fits right up um and i also mounted up the slate and no, the master cylinder for the clutch so i don't think i had shown y'all this but basically, when you are putting in the pedal assembly, it's kind of actually a little bit crooked the way I put it in, but it's working, so I'm not even gonna deal with it. But basically, you know, I just drilled two holes where the bolts needed to go, cut out a little bit, because there's already a hole here for all these wires to come through. So I just kinda, you know, made more of a hole and, uh, fit that up there's there's just enough room for me to clear the cap off this thing as well just enough room for me to clear the cap off and um i'll show you all the inside so let me, move. Let me turn on the light all right so um because it was mounted in crooked, you can see in one of those pictures, I'll add it in, my brake pedal was bent way over this way. So when I took it all off uh, for the final time, I bent the brake back over, so now they're all kind of symmetrical. But um, you can't really see, but I had to, oh wait, you can see right there a little bit. I'll try and zoom in, uh, zoom in on it. Actually, that freaking wire is blocking. <laughs> I had to make a new bracket, and it's only bolted in on one side. So it's bolted in on the top right there. It's got the four bolts that go to the you know brake uh, slave and or master, and then the bolts that bolt it to the clutch master. But it's in there solid. It's only missing one one mounting bolt that's it uh, so now I have to um, pretty much uh, put the steering wheel or the steering column connect it because this is gonna be a bitch I'm gonna need two people to do it um, then after that it's just fabricating shit so that the trans will stay and the diff will stay and then I need a drive shaft 
and then I should be good to go. Like I'm getting really, really close to this thing. I can feel the end nearing. Still probably gonna be a few months, but I can feel it. And I also forgot to show y'all, I got my door cards back, um, or my uh, armrests for the car back that my granddad redid. Uh, so they're looking super sick. It doesn't really match that great, but when I redo the seats, the seats don't really even match stock. This gray and this gray is different. So I was thinking when I get these redone, because they're kind of beat anyways, and the, my front seats are really beat too. So I'll try and match this gray closer to this gray, and then I'll do the middle section this color is this this stuff feels nice and i like the color contrast on on the gray and it actually matches the headliner uh better than anything because the headliner was a different color than basically everything so once i get the insides of the seats the same color as the armrests and this more towards the door card color i think it'll it'll look really good but uh yeah, super stoked with how they, that came out. Shout out to my granddad because he can, he does this stuff really good. And let's see, I'll show you um, this right here. So here's for underneath the uh, steering wheel. Looks so good. And I have some other stuff. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I don't, I don't know where I left off, but here's the other piece. Looks so good. It's like, it, it, it can look really bright when the sun's on it, but when it's, there's not a lot of light on it, it looks really dark, so, I don't know. Alright, peace out guys, thanks for watching.